The iPhone 12 Pro Max is the best of the best of what Apple can offer in a smartphone. It's a big and expensive device, but if you can afford it, it's a really good smartphone. Before we go any further, it's worth going over a few things. The iPhone 12 Pro Max, the iPhone 12 mini, the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro, they all share similar specs. Super Retina XDR OLED displays with a 2 million to 1 contrast ratio, A14 Bionic chips, IP68 water resistance rating, new ceramic shield glass, and of course, 5G. With that in mind, you might think the iPhone 12 Pro Max is just a bigger iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 Pro with better specs. And in a lot of ways it is, but it's the camera setup on the iPhone 12 Pro Max that makes it the Pro Max. The 12 Pro Max has slightly boosted specs when compared to this year's iPhone 12 Pro. Its f2.2 aperture beats the standard Pro's f2.0 aperture, and its 2.5 optical zoom is at 0.5 gain on the Pro. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has one more unique feature, sensor shift optical image stabilization on its wide camera. This is a floating sensor that's designed to counterbalance any camera movements. Sensor shift technology is popular in high-end mirrorless cameras and is brand new to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you're not up to speed with the latest photography technology, it may be a little confusing to understand. But the best way to think of it is as a physical way for the iPhone 12 Pro Max to stabilize images that will work alongside the device's computational image stabilization. The iPhone 12 Pro Max also shares a couple of exclusive features with its Pro sibling. LiDAR and the new Pro RAW file format. As space age as LiDAR, which means light detection and ranging, might sound, it's actually pretty easy to understand its advantages. It uses infrared lasers to measure depth, and that's essentially it. And this brings two main benefits, six times faster autofocus, because it collects data on objects in front of the camera instantly, and improved low light photography. The ability to collect data points regardless of the light level is where LiDAR really excels. The new Pro RAW file format is a feature that will appeal to lots of photography enthusiasts. As you probably know, saving photos in .raw file formats gives the user a greater level of control when it comes to editing the photos later. Apple takes this principle and adds a layer of its image processing on top. The next most important thing is the design. As you can see, it's a pretty big device. It's, it's massive. For perspective, we've got the mini, the 12, and the 12 Pro here. Look, it's, it's way bigger than all of these. Um, for a bit of perspective, I've also got the iPhone 11 Pro Max here. And the thing to note is that it's a slightly bigger device, but the screen is disproportionately bigger, <laughs> which is quite complicated. But this has got a 6.1 inch screen. This has got a 5.8 inch screen. As you can see, they're, they're pretty much identical in terms of size. This is a few millimeters I think, taller and fatter that way. I'll put the specs up on screen so you can see the actual uh, dimensions differences. But the benefit you get with the 12 Pro Max is that you get more screen real estate for pretty much the same size phone as the 11 Pro Max. Oh, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is available in four colors. Gold, silver, graphite, and Pacific blue. This one here is the gold device. Not sure I can pull off the gold. Uh, two more things I wanna talk about. Uh, first of all is ceramic shield glass, which is the new sort of screen technology or screen material that is uh, being used from the iPhone 12 devices in all of the devices. Apple tells us that it's uh, four times more resistant to drops. I've not been brave enough to drop test this. Um, I'm not sure Apple would be too pleased with me if I broke a couple of their phones seeing how far it could drop. But Apple's claims are normally pretty, um, pretty solid in this department. A few people have been talking about how when screen technology is less likely to crack when you drop it, it's more likely to pick up scratches when it goes into your pocket and scratches your keys, for example. I've not seen any evidence of this. The next thing I wanna talk about is this IP68 water resistance rating. Uh, the iPhone 12 and, well, all the iPhone 12s, they can last for 30 minutes in six meters of water, which is a three times boost on the iPhone 11 series. Of 
course, the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the rest of the iPhones have now got 5G. Android smartphones have had 5G for ages, so it's Apple catching up with the rest of the market, really. However, we should care now because Apple is massive, and that means 5G really needs to get its act together. Here in New Zealand, we've got 5G on a few select street corners in Auckland, Christchurch and Wellington. The fact that Apple now has 5G means the likes of Vodafone, Spark and Two Degrees have to start rolling out 5G at a much faster pace. This is the power that Apple has. All the iPhone 12 devices support millimeter wave 5G internationally, but not here in New Zealand. We only get low and mid band 5G here. But we shouldn't worry too much. Low and mid band 5G will still be fast enough and it will work at a longer range. So is the iPhone 12 Pro Max worth the $2,099 price tag here in New Zealand? I mean, yes, the specs inside it are better than anything I've seen from, well, certainly any iPhone, but it's better than any Android phone I've seen too. But there's no getting around it. Spending over $2,000 on a smartphone is a lot of money. And for that reason, it's not gonna be for everyone. I think the iPhone 12 is the device that most people should buy. However, if you're a photography enthusiast and you wanna get the absolute most of your smartphone camera, this is the best smartphone on the market. So yes, it's worth the $2,099 if you can afford it. If you can't and you don't mind having a smaller device, which I think most people will like, I think you can be fine with the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 12 mini or even the iPhone 12 Pro. But I love it. It's brilliant. It's massive. Buy it if you've got the money.